Ideas. Hi, I'm Jacob Linkus. I've worked with Code Ninjas since the beginning. I've also been coding for about six years, and I'm also an Eagle Scout. I'm going to be showing you game design using Python and Pygame. So, this will be a fun and challenging ride, so let's get started. Now we're going to be working on part two of Tic-Tac-Toe. So, back where we pit left off, we've drawn all the lines and we've made the boxes, but we just can't see them because they're the same color as the background. So, let's move on. Let's actually change the blocks over to our color. But, since this is a two-player game, we're going to need to do it twice. And to keep track of whose turn it is, let's make a variable called turns. So, right here under the colors, let's call it turn. And right now, let's hit it to, for player one's turn. So just turn one. And that's all we need to do. We'll be changing it later in the event. So, we're going to go down to our main game loop. And after our if statement to close the game, we're going to be making a new if statement. And this one will be called if turn is equal to 1. So, while turns equal to 1, we need to also be checking for a few more things. We need to see where our mouse is, see if we click the mouse pointer, and see which box it's touching. So, to do that, we need another if statement. So we're going to go if, and we're looking for an event in Pygame, which would be the mouse pressed event. Pygame dot mouse dot get underscore pressed. Open close. Now we need to figure out which mouse button we want to check. And we want it to be for left click. So open bracket, zero, close bracket. So this will see if our mouse button is pressed. Then what else we need to do? We need to look for another event. And this one will be if the mouse pressed is over a certain box. So we're going to type and. If you don't know what and is used for, it's used for saying, hey, if this condition and another condition is true, then run. And there's also something that as an or uh, condition. If you have any questions, you can go check one of the tutorials in the description. So with that, we're checking for box, but which box? We're going to do box zero. So if box zero collide point, that means if this mouse point is over box zero, it'll say true. But we need to get mouse position. So open parentheses, pygame dot mouse, because we're looking for the mouse, we're going to do get underscore position. Open close parentheses and close it one more time and close this section right here. So we know it's still for collide point. Now that would work, but when it's player's two turn, they can still click on that same box and it'll change it right back. So if you remember last time when we made all the variables, or all the booleans, I would say, uh, we had one called click. So when the game starts, all the variables, all variable clicks are set to false. So we can use those. So we're going to do and, we're looking for click, and we're looking for click zero. And we want to see if it's equal to false. That means it hasn't been clicked yet. And there we do colon. So, once all those conditions are met, we're going to change the color of the box. So we're going to do pygame dot draw. And where do we want it to be drawn? Or what do we want to draw? We want to draw a rectangle. And we want it to be drawn on the screen. And let's have it player one be red. And now we just need to say the locations. So we're going to have 0, 0, but now we need the box size. If you remember, our variable up here called box size is set to 190, which is exactly the same as all the other boxes. So we can go back down, we're going to do box underscore size, and then we just need it again. So box underscore size. We have to have it twice to have the X length and the Y length. So we close up parentheses and we close it one more time. Now we need to set the conditions to true. So we can say, hey, this was clicked by 
this person, and no one else can click this box now. So we'll set click 0, because we're still in the first box, and we're going to set equal to true. And now we need to say who clicked it. Well, player 1 clicked it, and they're going to be a click. So we're going to do a click, and also again 0, because it's still the first box. We're going to set it to true. But now it's still turn 1. We, are n we haven't changed the turns yet. So in here, we can do turn equal 2. Now, this is just for the first box. We need to do this 8 more times, changing all the numbers. Or not all the numbers, just any zeros like this. And right here for box 0 and click 0. So, let's get started. Same thing as before, if pygame.mouse.get underscore pressed, that's a function, and it's still mouse pointer left, and box, but this time here's where it's different, we're on box 1, which is actually the second box in the middle of the screen. Collide, point, and the function pygame dot get or dot mouse dot get underscore position which is a function and then we close parentheses and we have our last condition and click one is equal to false so don't forget your uh, colon at the end then we go enter but Remember our video on else if statements? We want to change this instead of an if, which will take longer to run, we're going to do elif for Python else if statements. So it'll run if it's pressed over box one and it hasn't been clicked yet, then I'll check this one, and so on and so forth. It's just a little bit faster and it makes the code a little bit neater. So what are we going to do? We're going to draw a new rectangle, same color pygame dot draw the rectangle where are we drawing it on the screen what color red now we need to choose the location for it we don't want to draw it on zero zero again because this is now box two now box two's position is 205 and zero so that's 205 units or pixels on x-axis and but we're still at zero pixels on the y-axis. So, then we have to type box underscore size to set the box size, of course. And again, one more time for the x, or for the y length. Post parentheses twice. And then we need to change. Click 1 to false. And we need to say, hey, it's for player 1. So, a click. And this one is also 1. We're going to set that to, or my bad. We should have them both set to true. And now we can make it turn two. So now we have to do that seven more times. Now, after you've completed all 0 through 8, we need to go on to turn 2, or player 2's turn. So we're going to use an else if statement. Turn equal equal 2. Now we have to do the same thing again. But we can make it a little bit faster this time. We take all the code we just typed, and if we copy it with Control c scroll all the way back down, and hit control V. We should have all the code here again. Same thing, box zero, click zero. But there's just one thing we need, or two things we need to change. Instead of red, we want it to be green. And instead of A click, we want it to be B click. So let's quickly go through and do that all again. So once you finish all that, we've got one important thing. Instead of turn two, 
we want it to be turn 1. So we we'll quickly go through and change all those to turn 1. This will, instead of it being turn 2, it will go back to the top up here. So, once we finish changing all these, we should be able to save the game and test it out. And when the first click is clicked, or when the first box is clicked, it will turn the box red. And then when the second click, it will turn any box green. So let's try it. Save it. Run it. We have all the boxes. We have no errors. First click, red. Second click, green. Can we click on here again to make it green? We can't. And we should be able to click again, and it'll be green turn. So, what happens if we try to solve it, or try to get three in a row? Nothing happens. So, in the next video, I'll tell you how to do that. Code Ninjas.